The essence of assumption of the risk is that the plaintiff actually perceived the risk created by the defendant's negligent conduct, yet proceeded knowingly in the face of that risk. The elements of assumption of the risk are as follows. Firstly, the plaintiff actually subjectively knew of the risk created by the defendant's negligent conduct and appreciated its unreasonableness, its nature, and its magnitude. If the plaintiff should have known of the risk but did not, then he was negligent, and the matter theoretically would fall underneath contributory negligence or comparative fault, and not assumption of the risk. We'll discuss contributory negligence and comparative fault in future videos. The second element is that the plaintiff voluntarily proceeded in the face of the risk, whether reasonably or not. As the restatement puts it, the plaintiff's acceptance of the risk is to be regarded as voluntary, even though he is acting under the compulsion of circumstances not created by the tortious conduct of the defendant, which have left him no reasonable alternative but to accept the risk.